Alexa here from the blog thedoallhomestead.com where I like to share with you farms table recipes and homemade natural living. Today I'm going to show you how to make einkorn chocolate chip brownies. For some reason, whenever the holidays come around, I start craving chocolate sugary dishes. Now I like to make chocolate chip cookies every single week for my family. We'd love to have dessert after dinner, but I really like the thick, rich, gooey, chocolate, almost fudge-like textured brownies, especially in the holiday season. So I've been trying to master my own brownie recipe for a few years now, and it's not an easy recipe to master, but I finally did it. So I'm very excited to share this recipe with you all today. These are einkorn chocolate chip brownies. Einkorn flour is basically an all-purpose flour that it's a little bit differently textured and flavored than regular flour. If you're brand new to einkorn flour, do some Googling about it. It's a non-hybridized grain, so it's actually healthier for you, less modified than traditional wheat. It's an ancient grain, it's higher in protein and lower in gluten, so it's better for your body to assimilate the grain as opposed to a highly processed grain that doesn't have much nutritional value. So I like to use einkorn whenever I can. I do a lot of baking, bread making, pancakes, waffles. I'm throwing einkorn flour in many dishes, especially now that we have a baby who is eating because I want her to have the best grain possible. And einkorn has a unique, almost nutty flavor that is really good in these brownies. Einkorn isn't my go-to for everything. There's some things that I don't use it for, but there's a lot of things that I do, and this is one of them. So you don't have to use einkorn for this recipe, but I recommend it. I'll link below the einkorn flour that I buy. It's from Jovial. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna start with a large bowl and you're gonna combine all your wet ingredients first. So that would be one stick of butter melted, two eggs plus one egg yolk. This is the cutest new little egg holder I got. Very excited. One teaspoon vanilla, one teaspoon salt, a quarter cup maple syrup. This helps reduce the amount of processed sugar that's in the brownies when you add some natural sugar like that. And two tablespoons of coconut oil. This is the coconut oil I'm using. I forgot to heat it up before they started this video, so I'm going to heat this up really fast just so that it's warm enough to blend in. And one tablespoon of water. I'm going to use a fork to mix all that up. Okay, I'm gonna set that bowl aside. separate bowl I'm going to add the dry ingredients. So one cup of white sugar, I tried to make this recipe with no processed sugar and it did not work. It just wasn't good. There are times when you have to just use sugar. You know I like to make things as natural as possible. So this recipe has a lot less sugar than other traditional brownie recipes but it's not cut out completely. About a quarter cup of brown sugar and three quarter cup cocoa powder. And lastly, one cup of einkorn flour. Mix that together so they're nice and incorporated. This step is important because then when it touches the wet ingredients, it doesn't just stick. So like you don't have a whole bunch of cocoa powder in one area or a whole bunch of flour. It's all nice and mixed together. You're going to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and use a fork to combine. You want to add it pretty gradually. Now everyone has different flour, different sugar, etc. So if for some reason your batter is not coming together, you can try adding another maybe half a tablespoon of water. Every time I make a recipe, I try it out several times before I post it on the blog to try to make sure I have the measurements right. So often I just eyeball it. So when you're reading one of my recipes, know that it works for me and I've tried it several times. But 
I am using certain ingredients that you might have different flour or sugar or something and things absorb differently so just because a recipe says half a cup of something it does not mean that you might need just a little more or a little less so you kind of have to just learn what it should look like. And with these ingredients you can't go wrong so even if the brownies don't turn out as beautiful as you might like it's going to be delicious. Okay. Next, I'm gonna add a cup of chocolate chips. Make a heaping cup. And at this point, I'm gonna switch to my wooden spoon. That'll be a little easier than the fork. Then I'm just gonna take whatever leftover butter or coconut oil I can find and grease up a square baking dish. This is about eight by eight, I believe. Now, also a note, you can use a different dish if you like, if you prefer long and rectangular, you know, thin, longer, thinner brownies versus um, square and thick, but your cooking time will vary, so just pay attention. Your brownies will be done when you stick a fork in the middle and it comes out clean, and then you wanna let them sit for a while, so I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so now you're going to pour your mixture into the pan, and it should be very thick. So beautiful. in the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 minutes or until a fork inserted in the middle or a knife comes out clean. Okay, the last step here is you're going to, right when you pull the brownies out of the oven, you're gonna sprinkle them with powdered sugar. This gives a really nice flavor to the brownies as well as just a nice texture. And it kind of looks like snow, which is just lovely. You can also throw a couple more chocolate chips on there. And the benefit of doing this while it's still hot is it will melt and just create a nice little topping. And you want to wait at least 30 to 45 minutes to open these brownies up. They will continue to harden and create a nice brownie. You just have to wait. This is a great recipe to bring to a holiday party, Christmas event, if you're having people over for dinner. I'm making this as my weekly dessert. Like I said, I like to make one to two desserts every week for my family, and cookies is the go-to. But in December, I like to throw in something like brownies. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this week for us. And I'm so excited to finish our dinner tonight and then have these brownies. It's just going to make my day. So these are my absolute favorite brownies. They are so good and I hope you enjoy them too. All right, well, thanks for watching this video on how to make einkorn chocolate chip brownies. Hope you found this helpful and inspiring for your holiday baking. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Every week I post a new video on farm to table healthy recipes and homemade natural living. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duval Homestead.